What is up, Hexicans and Pulsinators? Welcome back to another video. Some brand new Pulse Chain updates. Make sure you guys smash the like button on the way in. That's a ticket to watch this content. And it gets Pulse Chain out to other people. Avid Hex says, everyone deserves the right to free information. No group should be able to front run others the minute Pulse Chain goes live. That's the only reason a select few of people got mad. Now they can't know things that you don't. Not because it was private, Chat room had 1500 hex members. I didn't leak anything. I helped the community. And I think she might be referring to this right here. It says from a, a Pulse Chain developer, Brett EP, one test is all. It will be performed tomorrow. And this was on May 1st, yesterday. So that test is happening today. And Richard tweeted out, when mainnet sir. And he says, when it's ready, which is soon. When is soon, when it's ready. And then we have right here, the Pulse Chain Testnet version 4 validator exits successfully completed. So you're able to withdraw from your validator. You're earning more as a Pulse Chain validator than an Ethereum validator. 167,000 daily transactions. 7% or 17% of total daily transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. And this is just the test net before mass adoption. Imagine how many transactions will be going on once people come over to claim their free airdrop. It's going to be massive. Pulse Chain was trending worldwide yesterday. 136,000 tweets. She says, I'll say it again. Pulse Chain will take over the crypto space. Just imagine once it launches how many tweets. It's going to be absolutely bonkers. If you guys are hyped for Pulse Chain, comment in the comment section below how far away you think we are. 30 minutes, four days, two weeks, let me know. And I want to leave you with this clip, a gem of Richard Hart talking to a really good interviewer. Take a listen. The, the distinction I made with crypto a long time ago was I actually believe that it brings the left and right to the together. together. Let, let me explain. So the left is really, let's face it, hates big corporation. And the right really hates, if you will, big government at a broad, at a macro level. So it's the right true, wants though, less man. government. The left wants more government. It's not but true. In any it's not true. I come, try and tell me that the left aren't pushing for demo, what do they call it? D d democratic socialism? Is that what they call it now? So you, what and, you and really the right have, is saying, there is, aren't, there is not actually a left. Pull, You've been pull fooled. back government power. There's corporate insane and corporate moderate. There is no labor. There is no left. So so let's talk. Okay. Both the parties when, suck balls. So okay. When you said labor, just then you meant the labor party of Australia, like left, didn't you? I mean, I mean that most countries have an actual labor party that actually gives a fuck yeah. about the workers. Yeah, yeah. Is their yeah. primary concern. We do not have that in America. Mm. Unions got annihilated. Like I agree. That's just, why I'm surprised you raised it. I didn't. I'm yeah, impressed so, that you know that. Yeah. So like. There, in America, we have corporate insane and corporate light, and that's it. And you can't get elected unless you suck corporate dick, period. Even even people that are actually left, like maybe you say Bernie's actually left, he couldn't even get the fucking nomination. He couldn't even get the nomination. If he runs as an independent, which he's actually more in style and independent than the corporate Democrats we have now. So like, there's, there's shit that works. Insurance companies don't treat you. They don't, they don't produce medicine. They don't use the medicine to treat your ass. The only thing they do is steal a third of the money from the system to enrich themselves. That's all they fucking do. A third of the money of healthcare goes to enrich these dumb assholes that don't treat you and don't make any medicine. They make everything horrible. Some countries have got smart and they'd be like, hey, you know what? We don't need that shit. We're gonna have single payer healthcare, which means everyone is now gonna pay for the government health insurance and the government's gonna pay for all your care and everyone gets cheaper health outcomes, superior health outcomes, it works in every fucking civilized country that speaks English in the whole goddamn world. And, and others. Works in France, works in Netherlands, works in fucking everywhere. Spain, Portugal, I don't give a fuck where you live. Shit works. But in America, they just can't figure out that it works everywhere. They're just like, nope, 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 nope. We see it obviously works absolutely everywhere, so we can't do that. You know what else works? Free education. Obviously works fucking everywhere. And it is what we have for young kids. But then as soon as the young kids are a little bit older, the little bit older kids, fuck them. We're not going to have that free college shit. doesn't make any sense. You obviously already suck socialist dick for free high school and middle school. Why don't you suck a little extra dick for free college, extra four years 
it obviously works. Pushing for, though. You're obviously That's already doing pushing. it. No, but you're never going to get it. They're not pushing for that. What they fucking, they push for the opposite of that, man. So in, in the United States. Hang on, hang on. It's about to slow down. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but a big success for Bernie and the left per se was that college was going to be free. University no. was going to free. They were going to wipe student debt. No. They didn't. Th those motherfuckers didn't get elected, homie. <laughs> like they don't care what their I, I know they didn't, were. but that, I, I know they didn't. But that's what their policy was. That's what their that's what they were selling. No, was. I'm. T there is shit that works. We know it works. So if you're tired of seeing everybody get shot, having no guns works. We fucking know this for fact because we've got tons and tons of countries, most countries, where people aren't getting living shit killed out of them by guns because there ain't no goddamn guns. Americans just can't seem to figure it out. They're like, nope, 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 nope. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Well, man, I lived in a hotel five years, traveled the whole fucking world, and it worked everywhere I went. And I went everywhere. I didn't hear no shootings, not a single shooting. America, I heard some fucking shootings. So you're like, uh, yes, it obviously works. Free healthcare works. Getting rid of the fucking guns works. Now, look, I love guns. I, I used to do scenario shooting. I fucking, I absolutely love guns. But if I have the option to live in a place without guns, I know it works. I know you ain't getting shot. It's a lot harder to find a bullet to get it into your body. But in America, it's real easy to get the bullets in you. Real easy. Real easy. You pull, a, you, you cut in front of somebody on a highway the wrong way, you might get lit up. Cop pulls you over, you're a little twitchy, you might get lit up. You will get your ass shot in America. Easy as fuck. It's also the easiest place in the world to go to jail. You want to go to jail? Okay, well, where is the highest percentage of the population in jail? United States. Highest percent? More than China? More than North Korea? More than any other country in history? Yes. The highest rate of incarceration of any country in the entire history of the world is the United States. So if you want to go to jail, the best possible place for your ass is the United States. If you want to get shot, the best possible place for you is the United States. Well, sounds fucked up to me. Sounds like some progress could be made. Sounds like you could adopt some successful strategies from other countries where they prove to be successful and have a little bit of that, every, a little bit less of everybody getting shot, a little bit less of everybody getting fucking uh, robbed by the insurance companies, a little bit less of if you break your leg, now your life's over, you're homeless, you're living in a street, you're fucked. This ain't good, man. This ain't good. So there's better ways to do things. Now, you want to know what we do have in the United States? The exact opposite of what works. Now, you want to go to college? Get a big-ass loan. So now everyone's got loans. So now there's limited space. So now the prices go up. So now we got all-time high outpacing inflation in medical costs and all-time high outpacing inflation in education costs. Now, if you get a student loan and you go $100,000 in debt and now you got all these other people just graduated, anybody who got no jobs, everyone's fucked because of COVID, there's no jobs, you still owe that money. Now, in America, we got no debtor's prisons. You don't go to prison if you owe money. But in a lot of other countries, if you owe money and you can't pay it, your ass goes to jail. That's a thing. In America, we don't have debtor's prison. It used to happen before America got started. We didn't like it. We made it so we abolished that. We're like, yeah, you, you go bankrupt instead. So if you owe money, you're just going to go bankrupt. We're going to set you to zero. You can start over. But not on your student loans, motherfucker. You get a student loan, guess what? <laughs> Passed a brand new law for your ass. Can't file bankruptcy on your student loan. Fuck you. Yep. You slave yeah, forever now. That's what they actually did. So when I hear shit about what the left's going to do, what the right's going to do, now nah, I'm watching what the actual laws are. What the actual laws are now, that you used to be able to file bankruptcy on your student loan debt. Now, fuck you. You're slave forever. That's, that's where we're at. So that's the progress that was made. The progress that was made is the kids are now enslaved to the fucking debt, and they still won't get a job anyway. So now they just owe an extra hundred grand. So they enslaved forever. And then you owe interest on interest. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. And it would be easily cured, easily solved with what fucking works and every other country to have it. And you just make the education goddamn free. Because they're printing the fucking money anyway. This money's getting printed. The money is getting fucking printed. They're going to keep printing it. So now you just got to decide who you're going to give it to. You want to give it to the rich to make them richer, which is what they're doing today, pushing up the asset prices of everything rich people buy. Stocks, yachts, houses. That shit's new all-time highs. The shit the poor people need to buy I guess it's lucky it's not new all-time highs. But the reason it's not is because they're just not getting any fucking money. So they can't bid up those prices. You know, rich people aren't buying loaves of bread. They don't even know what a fucking gallon of milk costs. They're drinking, like, oat milk and shit. They ain't even, drink, they ain't even drinking cow milk. Drinking rich people milk. Shopping at fucking Whole Foods. 
So, man, you know, we never did finish the topic all the topping signals, by the way. 